So that's the first um, clinical trial um, trying to demonstrate the utility of second tumor DNA in the early stage setting. Um, and we started off with stage two colon cancer. That's our population that we studied for because the clinical decision um, currently you know, by, by colorectal oncologists in the clinic, it's, uh, it's very dif difficult. It, I find myself as the hardest conversation to have the, with the patient whether they need chemotherapy or not, because there is no definite evidence that chemotherapy is helpful for these patients. Um, number one, because surgery alone cure more than 80% of these patients. And uh, we have no good way of deciding which patient will need more chemotherapy and which patient can be spared chemotherapy. So this study is um, aiming to um, demonstrate that by using CTDA results to guide treatment, we can reduce the number of patients receiving chemotherapy but not compromising on their recurrence risk. So what we did was we allocate a group of patient um, to the CTDNA guided treatment arm where the one patient with detectable positive CTDNA after surgery receive chemotherapy. If they don't have um, detectable uh, CTDNA or we call negative CTDNA, they don't get treated. And then the other group of patient uh, we allocate to the control arm where clinicians essentially just manage them without the blood test, just by their conventional pathological criteria. So the key findings from the study is that by using CTDA results to guide therapy, we can reduce the percentage of patients needing chemotherapy from 30%, well, 28% down to 15%, almost half the number of patients needing chemotherapy. Um, and we also find that the outcome are very similar between the group, almost the same between the two groups. So we're not, despite reducing the number of patients having chemotherapy, we're not not compromising on the outcome. The other major um, finding we, 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 we discovered was that um, the patient with CTDNA positive result, if they receive chemotherapy, they actually, a um, substantial number of them actually have a very good outcome in the long term. So suggesting that they, this is a subgroup of patient who can drive a lot of benefit from chemotherapy, the CTDNA positive high risk subgroup of patient. Yeah.